hey everybody welcome to my channel in my one of my last videos i spoke about using um pictures with quotes um as a good marketing tool on facebook um these pictures with quotes are, be, are called um social media memes um in the internet world right it's a great way to market market um, your product your your brand whatever your brand is and it's really really cool people love images and i myself love images too i also i love to see um you know images and i like to check out the different quotes that they have i'm, I'm more into motivational quotes um things like that you know so um i use powerpoint to create um my social media memes as you would see here right i have one up on the screen right now for you to see and um i use like i said powerpoint to create it um, you know, I, I, I have been using PowerPoint to create my books and stuff. And, I, you know, I find PowerPoint is so, so easy. So I just started to use PowerPoint to create my um, social media memes. So let me do one for you so to say exactly how I do it. Okay, let me just basically open a new file. So I'm going to home. I'm going to say new. And we're going to click on blank presentation. We're going to create that. Okay, lovely. Now it has basically some little um, boxes here if you just give your idea to start off. But I don't really use that. So what I will do, I'll just go into layout. And I'll just click on blank. I want a blank um, screen to work with. The next thing I do, I insert an image. Now well, you can get images anywhere. Um, I use my, I get images, free images from a website called Pixabay. Um, yeah, I got my website, my images from Pixabay. Very, very good images, high resolution, and they're really good to work with. And there's a variety, tons and tons of images you could get from them that you could use um, for your purposes. So I'll upload what, upload what I have. So I will go into insert and picture. And let me just get a picture that I would like to use for this particular project. It's a young lady here. I'll click on that. Okay, so here's the image of the young lady. So now before I go any further, what I would like to say is when I select my images, um, I look for an image where that even though, of course, the landscapes and beach sceneries do very, very well, but I like to have a little dimension in my images where I have like a person standing to the side or something like that. But the important thing is to have, make sure when you're selecting your images, there's a space where you could, Put your text that is easily that can be easily read by people who are looking at your your social media meme right so like when i select this particular photo even though i love a little young lady in the beach there's a blank spot at the side here i could use to put my text <coughs> sorry or i could put the text on this side okay so as you can see here the image um, needs to be resized because there's a blank white area here the image is basically smaller than the, the canvas size I've been using. So I'm going to resize the um, image. I'll just pull on this blah, blah, box here. And I'll do the same thing for the bottom part of the image. Simple. Okay. The next thing, our image is ready. Um, I don't really do anything with my images. I just leave it like that. And it depends on how the images look. I like my images to look nice and sharp and clean. So the next thing I do, we need to put in the text, insert some text. So we're going to insert again. And we use a click on the text box. And you get an image looking like this. And I will just drag the, the thing like this. And I create that, create my text box right there. And you can see here that the text, the text um, symbol is blinking for me to indicate that I could start to type my text there. So, the next thing, of course, the other thing we need to have is a quote. Now, you could go on Google and um, search your quotes, whatever your, whatever your brand is about. And then you could type in your quote in this particular area here. So, let me type in something.
okay as you can see here i typed in my text and um it's straight across and a bit of it is going over the young lady's head um so what we will need to do we need to resize that so i'll just um resize it diagonally by just clicking on the arrow the circle here at the bottom right hand part of the box and just drag it inward the inward so we could stretch vertically okay so there's some typographical errors here so of course which is good um it could help us make the changes it's not really a typographical error it's just basically two words was into one okay so a short little phrase whatever you are whenever you are creating beauty you are restoring your soul nice okay so i want to make this phrase a little more dramatic it's a bit too small and it's not really you know outstanding so i'll just make it a little bigger um i'll highlight the text and i'll go over to this particular area here for the font and i'll pick a font that is um, maybe that stands out more area blocks does the trick but um i want something different so let's look around and see what we have let's try botanic uh, carbon block is not bad that's called caps Okay, let's try this one here okay as you can see here this particular font it's bold it stands out and that's what you're looking for okay so i'll just widen the text box by clicking on holding down the arrow to the center and just widen it and that's it so i'll just maybe i might reposition it by clicking on the box and moving it up like this so you could change your font, change your size, and do different things with it, and um, reposition it, and wherever you see effective. But let's just make sure that when you have type in your, for you when you're positioning your 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 text, um, your your people who are looking at your social media meme they could see it. Because for instance, if I put this over the girl's head, you wouldn't see it. So just be aware when you're putting your your text that it can be easily read and seen. The last thing I do. I like to put out my website address, so I will just do another text box. I'll put in a spot down here, more, most likely the bottom, and then I'll put um, these, my website address. Simple, reposition it. Again, I make sure that it's, it's in a spot where it can be seen easily. If um, if it can be seen, um, what I will do is basically another, another alternative is to is to change the color of the font so it can be seen easily so our next thing we do we do of course we've done that we have the text we have the quotes we have the um website address and we're done we're happy i'm happy with this social media meme i'm going to save it so i'm just going to click on the start save as and i'll just basically put it in a particular folder where it's supposed to be saved Now you'll notice that is it's being saved as a power, press, um, power, sorry PowerPoint presentation files. I like to keep my files um, save it in PowerPoint presentation format because I can always come back and use it and edit it or whatever. And that's why I keep it saved in that particular format. And then the next thing I do is I go back again into into start and save as, and I choose um, a image file. I'll go to see. Uh, sorry, let me go back a second. Um, where you have PowerPoint presentation, I'll click on the drop down arrow and I'll use um, a JPEG format and I'll save my file in that particular format. So it has two formats. And I'll just click on current slide only. So my file is basically saved in two form formats PowerPoint presentation and JPEG presentation. So when I'm uploading it to Facebook, um, I select the um, JPEG format. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, my my tip how I where I share how I create my um social media memes using PowerPoint, um, a very effective tool um to market your brand. Like I said before, okay. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment for me in the um 
you know this video and I'll try and um, answer your questions as much as I can. Um, if you have anything to share with me, I also look for new, I like to know new tips and tricks and things like that. Um, okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.